was 16 when I came out to my mother. I had my school do it for me. I thought that that would be like the more appropriate avenue to take for her to be able to accept it. So I had my deans and all of those people um, in my high school sit my mom down with me and a couple uh, gay students, you know, because I went to performing arts school, so it was comfortable there. It was okay. It wasn't like a taboo type of situation. So they sat down with me to, to be my support and everything was cool. My mom acted like everything was good. And then when I went home that evening, it was like, so after that, I met the ball kids and that's how my story progresses because I was just downtown and then the ballroom kids moved from state to state, city to city, and I was just with them going to all the functions and walking all the balls. I've been walking since 1991. I realized I enjoyed the ballroom scene and I loved walking the balls when I got my first like serious trophy because usually, no shade, but you would get a trophy and a trophy would be like, you know, okay, that's hot and everything. The trophy is nice and sometimes it would be geared towards my category, which is body. I enjoyed the ballroom scene because it was so lively and it was so artistic. And like I said, I went to theater school, I sing. And so those things mean a lot to me. So it was like stepping out of my school, which was fame, because it was literally like fame, FLC, shout out to Mount Vernon Street. It was really like fame and it was very welcoming and loving. And so when I went to the balls, it was that same exact way, but it was very more artistic. Like the categories were very extravagant. The way they went about their category was very extravagant. Like everybody took the time to just be very artistic. And there usually was like a drag performance beforehand. In 1991, the ballroom atmosphere was very geared toward the males um, as well as the transgender population so it was kind of a corner that we had in the ballroom scene as a cisgender woman it was it was like they gave us a category or two or three to appease us Basically, the ball was mill room dominated, period. But it was still everything. I mean, we weren't begrudging that. That was cool as long as we were welcome in the environment, and we were. It was just the categories were, you know, geared toward the men. So, seeing is how it is almost 30 years. No, I wouldn't even think that I would be having this conversation. Mm -hmm. I know that the ballroom scene now is very much more prominent in the mainstream as well as, you know, just being in the life period. The whole LGBT community um, is now on the forefront of basically everything. What I contribute my longevity to in so far as the ballroom scene is um, my family basically. I, I really didn't hop around from house to house. I had uh, three houses and from those houses, the houses that I stayed in were broken out of that. So it was like family and then cousins and things of that nature. So we were all tight knit. So a lot of the houses and the families that have been together with core members, we're all kind of still there. So it's not a thing where though I still walk, although I'll hit it from time to time maybe and stuff. But you know, it's just in the name now, you know? And it's somewhere to come to and see what the new kids are doing. Everything's different. I had a good rapport with a lot of different houses that I started to like inquire about the balls. Like, you know, can you give us this category? Can we get another category? Can we get hair and nail, hair and nail affair? Cause I went to New York and saw that category. I'm like, why can't that, you know, be for? Back in the day, I don't, I really feel like the women were more scrutinized. We were a little more judged because I don't even have an explanation for why. I just know that we were really scrutinized everything, like from head to toe, like everything had to be on point, which was great. Cause I mean, that kind of like groomed you to be that way regardless. So I, I don't begrudge that either. But yeah, they were very rough on us in so far as the earlier days in the categories. Now it seems a little more lenient. It seems a, a little more, uh, not taking anything from the cisgender women that are walking now, 
but it it is a little more lenient it is a little more comfortable in the judging the judging isn't very as it, it's not as intense as it was <laughs> back in the day a ballroom moment that i had that sticks out in my mind that meant the world to me was in the 90s i walked um at the sony soundstage in new york and the judges were patricia phil Khalees, um nas was there it was a whole lot of celebrities that judged us that evening and i did walk away with the trophy and walking in new york is always awesome but that sony soundstage that stage is everything so sometimes when you get that great great stage <laughs> I contribute a lot of my ballroom success to a couple people. Angel, love you mom. Um, Otis, man, father prodigy, my prodigy, father right now, and Albertian. As of lately, I've gotten a little bit of an itch, so I want to come out and see what's going on. I haven't really attended any functions, but I miss it, and it's been like, you know, in my ear as of lately, like everything. If you click on the TV, just everything, anywhere. So I'm like, let me, you know, come and see what's going on with my folks. It's hopefully all of my folks are still there, because I know the whole crowd is new now. Um, I'm recently married, so I'm a newlywed, so I've just basically been a housewife. We have two businesses that work out of our home, so it's very comfortable. I'm very content in life right now, and we're getting ready to have a baby. Um, we have our sperm, and that's what's happening with me, and everything's good. And I miss everybody in the ballroom, and I miss the ball, and I miss the music and stuff. It's nothing like it. My brand now, because I'm designing, is IO Lee Couture. That's A Y O Lee Couture. And um, I do custom designs. I do hats and bags, shoes as well. I do basically everything. I do reupholstering and things of that nature. I like art, so that's my artistic avenue. One thing that I would tell my younger self now, if I could then, is to just make sure to keep in touch. We lost so many people throughout the years, and I was attached to so many people, and there were wonderful relationships that I wish that I made sure to hold on to. That was it. Just to make sure to hold on to everybody, don't miss anybody. Till the skin that holds the point me where the thick holes at. He want a flat booty bitch, I'm not with all that. I got chills for days and I got wills for